this week at River Ridge. We have all you need to know about your Wildcat athletes. I'm Paige Grissinger and I'm your host. I want to thank Bree Lehman for filling in for me last week. We've been playing with some new effects and things like that, so look forward to that in the coming episodes. Now to Angelo with the weather update. Oh, hi, my name is Angelo Flores and this is the weekly Wildcat weather forecast. Things are cooling down today with a high of 59 and a low of 41. Tomorrow, Saturday, warming up with a little, warming up a little, starting the day off with a high of 65 and a low of 48. Nearing the start of next week on Sunday, we are going to have a high of 67 and a low of 41. Finally, next week, Monday, we'll have a high of 65 and a low of 41. I hope you all enjoyed this week's weather forecast. Now back to Paige. played Orangeville last Friday. On Orangeville's first drive, they took the ball all the way down to the goal line and scored. After that, Orangeville forces a River Ridge punt and takes the ball from a third and long to a touchdown. He breaks contained. Oh, the guy is going to go. Touchdown, Orangeville. There's that same play again. After another scoreless drive from the Wildcats, Orangeville scores on a... Short run. Oh, sign. Looks like the Wildcat stopped yeah, him. Up. I thought he was uh, now, well, he's kind of halfway holding the touchdown. Yeah, I'm not sure. What is? Is that a touchdown or? Uh, I'm is not that, sure. Maybe that's a three-point play. I don't know. The other team that's going to stop him. On Wildcats' next him. drive, Marcelo gets the pitch he's and takes it to the house for Wildcats' he's first touchdown of the game. He's going to go. He's going. Run, there is so. no flag on me. No flag on the play. No. He just accelerated. Look at that play. Jacob converts on the two-point try. Jake Spear going to take it himself. He's in. Yeah, he's in for it. I don't see any hands yet. He was in. Yeah. There he is. I After stopping him. Orangeville, the Wildcats score on a long run Marcel by Marcel once again. Diaz. He's gone. Holy cow. First play of the game. He is going of the half. No flags on the play. Touchdown, Wildcats. Um, on Orangeville's next try, their quarterback breaks free for a touchdown. Guy keeping it. First down and more. Oh, careful. He's going to go. And he is going to go all the way for a touchdown. Answering the Wildcats score on a Wyatt Potter reception touchdown. Pass the Potter is complete. And he breaks loose. He could go. Touchdown, Wildcats. What a great play. Orangeville seals the game, scoring on the short run. Guy keeps it, and he... In. In for the touchdown. Touchdown, Orangeville. Next week, River Ridge plays Durand at Durand. Now back to Paige. Let's see how our Lady Cats played this week. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Patrick Hale, and uh, with my co-host Alex Nesbitt, we covered River Ridge's game on Tuesday. We played scale the Scales Mount Hornets. We won the first set, however, we lost the second two. On Sunday, October 23rd, we will play River Ridge Wildcats uh, will play in the regionals. Hope to see you there. into this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll have more next week. Remember we're part of the hometown throwdown and all your views count. Be sure to travel to Duran tonight because it's the final football game of the 2016 season and they're really really standing a chance at this one. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week.